the master one, AH, coming at you, the Young Lord Screens via YouTube, Instagram, Instagram TV, Twitter. This will definitely be up on Twitch.tv and Spotify if you are in the mood for some uh, audio pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much for following, liking any of uh, my social media posts. I really appreciate it. If you like what you hear, you like what you see, please press follow, like, comment. With that out of the way, um, this might be a long video. It might be a short video. I'm not too sure, but this is probably one of the most important videos I will ever make. Where do I start? One thing that I want to impress upon each and every one of you, this is not a video that I want you to like. Unfortunately, I may need you to share it. Unfortunately, I may need you to push it forward. But what I really want to see is the acts of kindness that I'm about to describe. Uh, before, if you've been following my channel and you've been looking at my videos, you know that I created an envelope and within that envelope, there were New Year's resolutions. And one of those resolutions, I'm going to, I'm going to let the cat out the bag, as they say, is to help others in need. Uh, and how I am choosing to do it at this present time is by feeding homeless people. As a kid, I was always a giving child, but it wasn't my money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I remember being with my father uh, or uh, my brother or a family member, and um, I wanted to give the person begging for money a dollar. I, I, it's something that has been innate, innate in me since a child. And this is something that I really want to build my community on is on a foundation of giving and helping others in need. So I believe it was Saturday. Uh, I was at Chick-fil-A uh, with a, a, a special lady to me and her, her daughter. And I mean, we were starving, right? So we, we, we finish up our food and we're going downstairs and this man asks me for money. Now, if you are from New York, you are very weary of giving money to homeless people or anybody who is begging. I, I know I am. I, I have seen and heard some stories about, you know, oh, they just use it to uh, take drugs. Oh, they just use it to, you know, drink, get alcohol, this, that, and the third. And uh, so, and to be honest with you, like, as life, as my, as I got older, Life chipped away at my true self, my, my, my love, my funny and amiable nature, my charm, my charisma to the point I isolated myself and my true self was locked deep down in a vault and very few people saw, it, saw uh, my true self. The self that operates, in, operates at, at its optimal level when it comes from a place of love. So one of my New Year's resolutions was to help, you know, to feed homeless people. I'm trying to do it at least once a month. If I can afford to do it once a week, I will. But um, so getting back to the story, I, you know, we were walking down. He asked me for a couple of dollars and I'm like, uh, what do you want? He's like, well, I want to get a meal. I'm like, all right, so let's go. So we stand in line and I'm starting to talk to him. And, you know, he's basically telling me he's down on his luck. He's lost his apartment. He has... He has, um, he's looking for a job as a sous chef, this, that, and the third, you know, and I'm just, I'm just giving him a shoulder to lean on. And he's, you know, he's like, I'm at the point of giving up and I'm at, and you know, I took the time out to, to, to converse with this gentleman. And, um, when it came time, I paid for his meal and this is the receipt. This is the receipt from Chick-fil-A and, you know, it was like $10 and 11 cents. And then the cashier's name is Faith. And 
I don't, I do not assign myself to a particular religion, but I do believe that the universe or the energy that connects us gives us signs. And another sign that tells, that told me that I did the right thing and I'm on the right track was a post by this handsome gentleman right here, our former president, Barack Obama. I've always drawn inspiration from what Dr. King called life's most persistent and urgent question. What are you doing for others? Let's honor his legacy by standing up for what is right in our communities and taking steps to make a positive impact on the world. That was another, I, I read that and I like, I instantly thought, okay, that's, that's amazing. And I thought of, you know, what transpired over the weekend with uh, the homeless gentleman. This is uh, at Crankage Games. This, this, this handsome fella right here. Hopefully you guys can uh, see it. He says, and this, this, this man seems like a really honest, straight dude. And I love what he's about, about positivity, giving back, and uplifting, uplifting all, not just himself. And that is another, another principle I want to build the foundation of my community on. And this is what he wrote in one of his tweets. He says, I am truly best blessed for all the support I get. I wouldn't be shit if it weren't for all of you. That's just a simple truth. So I've taken 75% of all donations I've received and went from channel to channel gifting subs. You can't go through life just taking and not giving. And if anybody, if this resonates with anybody, I, as I said in the beginning of this video, you don't need to like, you don't need to, <clears throat> you don't need to like this, 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 this video. I just want to see many of you pay it forward to people who have less than you. If we all help each other out, maybe we won't be, we, maybe we won't all be so miserable all the time. As always, positive vibes to you and yours. The master one, A.H.